Daphne Blunt from Radio Disney's My Dream and check out my exclusive interview on Rick.com. Huge guest in studio today, Daphne Blunt. Daphne, all right. Yeah. yeah. Daphne, thanks for coming in on the show. I know you're, you're super busy right now. You got the new single coming out. Yes. Or it's out already. Yeah, it's out. It's out. And, you know, one thing that I think is really cool, you know, back, a lot of people listening don't, you know, they, they don't, they don't, they don't understand this, but back, you know, before we, way before right, we were yeah. born, on radio, there used to be shows that were similar to TV shows, where it was like a, you'd tune in and, and, you know, people would gather around their radio and listen to shows. And it's interesting, Radio Disney is actually kind of turning back the clock, so to speak, and yeah. doing stuff like that. And you actually host one of those. Yeah, they're, you know, they're trying to bring it back again. And I'm sure, you know, I, ho I hope it'll, it'll work out to the best because, yeah, I mean, I think it's really interesting to see something so new to my generation, but to like my dad, he used to listen to that. It's called My Dream. It's called My Dream on Radio Disney. And uh, it's the story of a 14-year-old girl named Kayla, and it's just about her wanting to become a famous singer and writing songs and having stage fright and just trying to live her dream. Now, that obviously, it seems like there's some kind of comparison similarities with your own life. Yes, there are a lot of similarities. Um, you know, I'm from a small town in Kansas, you know, grew up wanting to become a singer, lived in Florida for a little while, never, I was just waiting for somebody to come to me and be like, hey, want a record deal? <laughs> but that didn't happen. And then, you know, I came to LA and I was so eager and I had to, you know, wait my turn, but, you know, just, it's crazy. What is it about Florida that, it, that, that people, it seems like a lot of people have come out of Florida, you know, whether... Well, yeah. I know Justin Timberlake's from Miami, but there are a lot of Disney celebrities that have come out of Florida. Is there was there a re why why did you go to Florida in the first place? Well, why did I go to Florida? My dad retired and wanted to live by the beach. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, you know, in Florida I did a lot of modeling. Mm -hmm. There's really not much anything else. Yeah. Yeah, Disney World there. In <laughs> yeah, Orlando. Disney World. Oh well we're from um Fort Lauderdale, which is right outside of Miami. But yeah, we used to drive up to Disney World all the time and like Universal and stuff. That's fun. So, so, do you ever get used to auditioning? Is that something that you get, I mean, you, you get better at it, right? I think you get more comfortable with it. I don't know that you ever get used to it. I still get nervous when I audition for everything, but you get a lot more comfortable and you see, you tend to like meet the same casting directors over and over and like build relationships. So. Sure. So back to the series that you're doing on the Disney, on, on Radio Disney. My dream. Uh -huh. So it, it's every day. It's also on Disney.com. Yeah, it's also on Disney.com. How long is it? It's 90 seconds long. Uh, four times a day, every day, Monday through Friday, Radio Disney. 90 seconds. So in 90 seconds, we'll, uh, we're going to get a glimpse into what yeah. this character's life? Or? In 90 seconds, yeah, you just get a little tiny chunk of this girl's life and how she's trying to go about all of this stuff. Interesting. So now that you're out in LA, you live here full time. Yes. What what's it like trying to make it out here? Is it is it tough? Do you It is tough. Um it gets better when you start, you know, you you have to start over and make new friends all over and, you know, find that right group of people. And it's tough because it's a different life. It's almost like giving up half of your life to devote it to being able to live this dream when you're just like a little kid. But you get used to it. And uh, are, so now are you, go, are, you, are you going to normal school? Or are you being homeschooled? I was being homeschooled. I am actually so excited because I'm going to normal school this year. Okay, it's not exactly normal, but it's closer to normal. It's only a half day school, but I'm excited to like go to school and have a locker and go to homecoming and do all that stuff. That's fun. So, so are there a lot of other kids that are in the industry that go to school there? Yeah, actually it's a 50 kid school. There's only 50 kids, and they're all in the industry. That's fun. Yeah, I'm really excited. Do you think, are, are, so the, you haven't started there yet? You're... No, I start September 13th. Wow, that sounds like a lot of fun. I hope that goes great for you. Yeah. I'm, and I'm... you just went to Knott's Berry Farm yesterday. Yeah, I went to Knott's Berry Farm yesterday with Kids of Courage, and wow, I mean, it's like a really, really moving charity. Like, I, I was just like so touched because 
like 250 kids with um, illnesses are in this summer camp just coming out to like LA and getting to just do all this crazy fun stuff and I was really glad that I got to be a part of it. And you have a lot of you have a lot of celebrity friends like the Massey brothers that are behind you. And... I do now. I, I like if you just said, "Oh, you're gonna like be friends with all these people on Disney Channel," I'd have been like, "I wish." But yeah, you know, Kyle Massey and Tiffany Thornton and David Henry are all like I met them at events, and then they like tweeted me, and now we're like friends. You know. Is there, are, now, are, is there a competitiveness between you guys all, or, or do, do you feel that? Is, there, no, is it ever uncomfortable? I don't think. I don't think there's a competitiveness. We're all very, very different, and it's kind of like once you're in, you're in. Me and my dad, um, we have a little Guitar Hero like tournaments. Guitar Hero tournaments. Yes, I, I'm winning currently, but like we have. A, do you have your own avatar and everything? No, I, d I don't. But um. We have like a little dry erase board and like we do little tally marks. It's like one round for me and it's it, we like scream. Now is that on medium or hard? Medium. I can't do that whole hard thing. I don't. I don't know. My fingers just don't stretch down to the orange button. Yeah. Yeah. Now do you are, do you have rock band full on rock band or just yeah? Guitar? No, I have I have both. I have all that good stuff. Um, I really like um Beatles rock band though. I I really like the Beatles. Got it. Now, you, your, the music video that you did for your first thing, let's talk a little bit about that. What was it like mm -hmm. being in the studio, putting that together? Was that your first time doing it anything was, like it that? It was. It was my first time in the studio. And at first, it's very, very intimidating because uh, people don't realize that I've never done this before and I have no idea what I'm doing and they just kind of like pushed me into it. And I guess I handled myself well and I love the song and it's it's very catchy if I don't say so myself. And Lorenzo Henry is in the video. Yeah, David David Henry's little brother, Lorenzo, we're, you know, buddies and he's in my video and all my friends are like, "Oh my gosh, who's that guy? He's so cute." And I'm just like, "Oh yeah, uh, that's my friend Lorenzo." Who are you? Who, do you have any celebrity crushes? Who's like your who, who do you think's really hot right now? Who do I, Oh gosh. Okay. I've been obsessed with Leonardo DiCaprio since I was like seven, which is weird. He's a good-looking guy. I love him. Yeah, he's one of my favorite actors too. Yeah, he's good. What about are you? Do you have? Are, are you into the Twilight movies? I am. I guess I'm not. I'm not a Twihard. I'm huh. Team Edward, but I do have a strong opinion about it. Why Team Edward? I don't know. I don't know. I have no it's idea. It's a mysterious thing, right? Yeah, he's he's just, you know, so dark and mysterious and I don't know, I just I like Robert Pattinson a lot. <laughs> hey, that's okay. To each their own, you know. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I get in fights with people over it actually. They're like, Team Jacob, I'm like, uh no, Team Edward. So season one of My Dream on Radio Disney is over. Yes. It's and over. fans actually have to tweet on whether or not there should be a new season. How do they how do they yeah. do that? Yeah, okay, well they can they can tweet to Radio Disney or you can go to radiodisney.com slash my dream and um leave a comment and let everybody know what you think or call into Radio Disney and just let them know what you thought about season one and hopefully hopefully cross your fingers it'll get brought back for season two and which if, if your fans want to tweet you directly what's your tweet handle at Daphne Blunt cool thank you so much we're gonna play your song crush rush right now take us back to you know did you did you write this who'd you work with on I this I co-wrote it with a guy named Jonathan George and it started because I liked this boy and we were just trying to come up with ideas of like what a song could be about and he's like so you like any boys right now? And I made this face, and he was like, oh yes, you like a boy right now. And then we just kind of wrote the song off of the crazy, dumb things you do when you like somebody. Thank you for coming in on the show. Thank you for having me.